Two household names, both of them are bust. Toys R Us and Maplin are the latest victims of the upheaval on the high street. For now, Toys R Us stores remain open, staff are still in work, an administrator has been appointed to find a buyer for the loss-making company, but he doesn't sound very confident. I think it would be dishonest to say it was going to be easy and we will be lucky to get a sale for part of the business. But we certainly wouldn't be able to sell the business as a whole, but we hope there may be some interest in some of the units. This store in South London is already due to shut. What stock is left is being flogged at a discount. Christmas was tough for all retailers, but some feel Toys R Us has only itself to blame for failure. They've been a victim of complacency. They haven't invested online, where 40% of toy sales now take place, and they've neglected their stores. The decline in Toys R Us's fortunes has been spectacular. Ten years ago, it and Argos were the biggest names in toys. But while Argos has largely held on to its market share, Toys R Us has lost business to its rivals. Not all of them online. Amazon did steal sales, but so too has Smith's, a traditional high street retailer. Unless a buyer can be found quickly, the 105 Toys R Us stores will begin to close in the weeks to come, with a loss of up to 3,000 jobs. Today, Maplin 2 admitted it is insolvent. The electrical specialist has 217 stores in the UK, 2,300 jobs are at risk. At Maplin, we take great pride in our friendly and informed staff. Maplin is blaming rising prices and a squeeze on living standards for its failure. How much of this business can be salvaged will in one sense depend on Maplin's private equity owners. Rutland Partners bought Maplin three and a half years ago and loaded the cost of the purchase onto the business. As a result, Rutland is Maplin's biggest creditor and by far it's owed well in excess of £90 million. And finding a buyer for Maplin now will depend on how much of that money Rutland is prepared to write off. One insolvency specialist estimates that up to 50,000 retailers are currently in financial distress. People are tightening their belts, more and more of us are shopping online and that really is affecting the high street and I think these two failures that we've seen today, uh, they won't be the last of the big names to fail this year. For now, at Toys R Us it's a case of everything must go, but the harsh reality is that when everything does, there may not be much of a business left. John Hills, ITV News.